Okay, first of all, quick moment of appreciation for the new La Synthetica. She's cute, right? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jackie O. Jacket, 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 jacket. I just love the fact that I can always do a variation of the Jackie O song. It's just gonna change depending on my mood. And if you don't like it, you just need more hugs. That's all, that's all it is, okay? It's not my business. I got a lot of requests to talk about this new product from NARS. It is their newest foundation called the Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. It's supposed to be ideal for all skin types. I haven't heard a single negative review or response about this foundation yet. I do have the box that I got from the launch because I did go to the launch when this product first came out um, around Thanksgiving time. And it's got 33 shades, many of which are not in any other NARS foundation line. Some shades are brand new and exclusive to this line, at least for now. So the Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation claims to be six hour fade resistant foundation with full powered radiance. The staying power is enhanced by a revitalizing mix of fruit extracts. Ooh, what kind of fruit? That smooth and improved skin for optimal radiance. While specialized pigments fuse with your skin to your closest match. So it's supposed to be lightweight, non-cakey, non-masking, non-drying. It claims to give full coverage and it really kind of touches on this radiance. So I'm kind of feeling like it's going to be something that's a lot like Sheer Glow because Sheer Glow, in my opinion, is like the epitome of radiance. I'm curious to see how this is gonna compare. Oh, and it says it's sweat resistant. It says it's transfer resistant, which by the way, I think is a claim most foundation brands usually stay away from because to say that something is transfer resistant, that's a big claim. This also says it resists oxidation. It's medium to full buildable coverage and it stays vibrant and fresh all throughout application. Okay, so that's some pretty cool education on the product. I love when they give these. I like to read about the product, about what it's supposed to do so that I can really find out what the T, y'all lying? Mm-hmm, because we tested it, NARS, thank you. Everything that they've described in that foundation is pretty much everything that I would want from a foundation anyway, so it kind of sounds and feels like it's gonna be right up my alley. So just for good measure, I did pick up Macau. I also got Morea, which is obviously not my shade, but I figured one day I could use that as a highlight. Let's just see how we like this as a foundation first. Macau, by the way, being my foundation shade in all other NARS products. So I'm gonna start priming my skin with the Pour and Shine primer, also from NARS. I am a big believer and I feel like NARS is the critical exception to this, but I feel like NARS foundations really only work for me when I use NARS primers. Using products that are compatible with each other, I think you a lot of times get better wear time out of them and it just performs better. Don't think I forgot to mention, make sure you subscribe to this channel though. Okay, you thought I was just gonna go right in and nope, I didn't forget. While I'm applying this primer, I want you to hit that subscribe button. So using our natural radiant, long, natural radiant long wear foundation, as mentioned earlier, the color that I'm gonna be using is Macau and Macau is described on Nars's website as a medium dark shade with yellow undertones. Once I apply the foundation to put this on, I will swatch some of the other like similar shades. It does tell me to shake it up really well, so I'm going to do that. We gonna start following instructions in 2018. That's what we gonna do. It feels like it's just about as thick. Oh no, okay, I take that back. It's slightly waterier than Sheer Glow. You can't see this on camera, but the veins in my chest are bright green. Usually that's like a red flag for someone who has golden or yellow undertones. And what I do is I go right in the center of my chest and that's usually where I swatch to get my color. So as you can see, Macau literally like, if I had went out and told you I had foundation on my chest and I told you the point where the spot was, you wouldn't be able to. I'm going to put a little bit of translucent powder right on top of my primer. This is my little hack that I do to get my foundation to last longer. Now, because this foundation is new to the family, we haven't introduced her to the in-laws yet. We don't know how she gonna cut up. We don't know how cooperative she gonna be. We don't know if she cooks yet. We don't know if she got a smart mouth. We have to, you know, take her in strides a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is start off with one full pump and see how I like it. If I need to add more, then I'm gonna add more. It's probably likely I'm gonna need to add more. So one pump, barely is enough to cover like my full face. I couldn't even really apply much on my forehead. And I'm gonna blend that out. Ooh. Okay, wow coverage. So I felt like with that one pump, 
it did spread out pretty good. Now on this side, as you can see, I do have some dark marks down there. So let's start working in and seeing how much of it we can get it to cover. But that actually did make a pretty impressive difference. Now, there is barely anything on my forehead, so I'm definitely gonna have to apply one more pump. Usually for me, two and a half to three is the magic number. So let's just see now what two looks like. So this side of my face is good after adding the second pump. So far, I'm really happy with the amount of coverage. It's definitely full coverage, no doubt, no questions asked. I don't know if I'm necessarily seeing the radiance yet. This is reminding me a lot of sheer glow, to be honest. I don't really know what the key differences are because sheer glow is meant to kind of give you glow. And this is also a claim in this foundation, so. I mean, they're both kind of shooting at the same basket. I think it's gonna take me kind of wearing it for a couple more hours throughout the day to figure out how different they are. Cause right now I'm just really not seeing a big difference. It's still a gorgeous formula and I'm really, really happy. I am happy with two pumps of foundation, but just that little extra, that little part of me just wants to add like one more half pump right here. This is where my problem area is right now. And when I tell you it was a half pump, it was actually more like a drop. Okay, I think I figured out what the difference is. This is definitely more lightweight than Sheer Glow, even though I do consider them both to be full coverage. This is the type of foundation that I can wear every single day. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face through highlighting and contouring, and also some Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I blended out my contour on this side seamlessly. Nothing seems to be moving around. It doesn't seem to be slipping or patching up. This formula is really good, but I expect the absolute best from NARS. It seems to also be responding well to the Beauty Blender, so no complaints there. I just couldn't imagine doing my foundation only to like highlight and contour and then have the foundation be moving around and 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 clapping back like you supposed to, I'm, I'm rooting for you. We're supposed to be a family. From up close and from a regular mirror, I'm feeling like my skin looks really good and I haven't even baked yet. I almost don't even wanna bake. But as someone with oily skin, that's just not in my fate. It's just not in the cards for me. Now I do love a yellow powder, so I'm gonna take my Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. This is the color yellow. I'm dabbing this through the center of my forehead because this is the area, the center of my face is usually where oil breaks through the quickest. So I just wanna make sure that I'm powdered down and that we're giving this foundation a fair shot. After I bake, I typically go back to my skin tone powder from Laura Mercier. Then I bake around my mouth because this powder matches my skin tone. This keeps my smile line area intact. I smile a lot, you know, life is wonderful. The perimeter around my mouth is usually the first place where foundation tends to break up and move around. For my eyes, this is my first time using the Wanted Eyeshadow Palette. I just have to say, I appreciate NARS for really stepping it up with the shadows because the old shadow formula was uh, very passable. The quality in these and their loaded eyeshadow palette have been phenomenal. Now I'm gonna take my LeBron's Diamond Glow Powder. That's going to go inside my tear duct. Well, not inside of it literally, but you know, the inner area. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of La Piche on top. I'm going in soft with LeBron's today. I kind of want the skin to be the highlight. So I'm not gonna OD on highlighter, but I definitely want the presence of it there. And this is the setting spray from the Sweet Peach Collection from Too Faced. Alyssa Ashley's lip gloss from e.l.f. though, like, the shine is so sexy. It's just, this is such a glamorous lip gloss. I'm pretty sure it's sold out though. So if you don't have it, my bad. So let's zoom in and get a close up shot of the skin. Now, just so you can really clock how everything is blended. Never mind my peach fuzz. Okay, girl, don't be ashamed. We all have some, but the this base looks flawless. The base looks absolutely flawless. Like. Find the line of demarcation, I dare you, find it. All the way up to the forehead. Isn't it weird seeing me with like a normal hair color? Like brown or black. <laughs> I don't like the way jet black hair looks on me and I didn't realize this was a jet black wig. So I'm definitely gonna go back and get like a 1B, like a natural brown. Okay, so let's look at some of the new shades that NARS has added to this foundation line. Your foundation color should blend right into your chest. That's just a personal preference of mine. Some people have a significantly darker neck. 
This is just how I prefer to match my foundation. Can I just say I also appreciate the way that the darker shades are at the top. That's kind of nice for once. It's usually the other way around and it's really not that deep, but I don't know, just kind of makes me feel a little good, you know. So Macau, we have front and center. Now we have Bellum, which is the next lighter shade and it's supposed to be a medium dark to dark with red undertones. And even looking in the bottle, it's quite pink. So I can already tell this definitely would not work for me. It almost looks like the equivalent of Macau, except it's more red. After Macau is Marquises, and I believe, I believe both of these are new shades. And Marquises is medium to dark with yellow undertones. What I appreciate about NARS is they make the shades close enough so that there's variations. And I feel like with most cosmetic lines, they make the mistake of making the foundation shades too jumpy and too different. It's like, I have that one shade. I don't have a winter shade. I don't have a summer shade, you know? Marquises almost kind of looks like it could work for me and I could use it like around the dark parts of my mouth where it gets a little darker, especially in the summer. Or this could just be my summer foundation shade because it is, it is quite yellow. Right now it looks orange on me. And the reason why it looks orange is because when a foundation's too dark, it go, it usually pulls orange. When a foundation is too light for you, it pulls gray. After Marquises is Manus, Manos, Manus. And this is supposed to be a dark with caramel. Ooh, this is a gorgeous color. Oh my goodness. I don't know what a caramel undertone is. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and guess that's more of a yellow. And then just for reference, the darkest color that it comes in is pretty rich and chocolatey. This is in the color Molly, which is described as an espresso shade. And there we have a nice little color spectrum of some of, just some of Nars's new colors in this new foundation. Now hopefully if you're about my foundation shade, plus or minus like one or two off, that will help you find your new shade. I'm gonna wear this throughout the day and check back in in a couple hours and let's see how it holds up. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so I'm back and I've been wearing this pretty much all throughout the day. I started the tutorial just after, I wanna say around three or four. The time is just after 10, so literally, 10.02 and that is your girl at the La Peach photo shoot. How you doing? I do think I have a healthy amount of glow. I'm just having a hard time figuring out what the difference is between this foundation and sheer glow. Like, I feel like they somewhat apply the same. Aside from the consistency, the consistency is slightly different and I know that because I use sheer glow enough. It feels a little thicker, more whipped. This one was slightly waterier. Maybe this is just the full coverage version of Sheer Glow. So I'm gonna assume if you like Sheer Glow, you're gonna like this one. I feel like out of all of Nars's foundations, they don't really have anything that's gonna give you like studio fix fluid, like a uh, Lock It Tattoo foundation would. Like I'm talking about thick beat. Every foundation from Nars has somewhat of a skin like element. Like you will always, always, always be able to see your skin. And I mean that in a good way. I'm kind of thinking maybe this foundation is as close to B as B gets for NARS. Like maybe it's NARS's version of B. I don't know, that's just me throwing a shot in the dark. I do like the fact that it comes with its own pump automatically, whereas with Sheer Glow, you do have to buy a separate pump. NARS, I'm gonna need y'all to correct that. And it also doesn't hurt that it has more shades. If Sheer Glow is just not quite doing it for you in the shade range, maybe try this one and you may be able to find something that you like better. I think my skin looks really good. So I do have slight, creasage around my mouth, but that's way less noticeable than most other foundations when they're like real, like my smile lines can get pretty deep. I'm actually gonna be traveling this week. I'm going to Big Sur. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna be there for like three days with Fresh Beauty on a side note. I'm going to bring this foundation with me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video, which I'll conveniently put here. All you gotta do is just click. All you gotta do is just click, girl. All you gotta do is just all you gotta do is just click, girl. All you gotta do is just click. All right, I'm going to bed. I'm out of here. Good night. Bye.